Hey guys, Fez UFO here. Welcome to Stealth Comp 9. Okay, I've uh, just left the home. My home. And uh, I'm getting about in an urban area, as you can probably see behind me. So, that's where I'm going to go. Right. I'll join you uh, in the darkness when I set up my gun. Question a bit, guys. Well, guys, it's a nice uh, night tonight. The moon's out. There's a couple of stars up there, but I doubt this camera will pick them up. Anyway, it uh, looks okay. At least you've got a bit of moonlight to shed the way. That's the way I've just come in. Down there. Yeah, that's all blurred. Intelligent auto. Yeah, right. <laughs> and uh, this is the way I've got to go. There's the moon again. Yep. Yeah, we got no sight whatsoever. Okay, I'll join you in a bit. Okay guys, uh, I found a place to stay, um, which is, we've got some lights in the background there, that's just the main road, uh, got the biggest tree here, which is cut off at the top, but it's just the right size for the hammock, we follow the hammock right up there, uh, this height it is lower which is uh, just about what you want really uh, you can't see this very well guys but uh, I've got a headlight on anyway we can, uh, we've got some nice soft ground to uh, whack the uh, bits of sticks in things like that uh, I doubt I'll have a fire here it's not very stable the ground it's a bit uh, on an angle, but it's quite enough. Okay, so I'll get back to you when I've built the shallow. See you in a bit. Right, guys, it's uh, well, what time is it? Ten past one in the morning. Uh, I managed to kind of set me uh, top and hammock up in a kind of fashion. Um, it's not the best, however, uh, the wind's kind of got up a bit now, and it seems to be blowing from the like southwest, so that's the way behind me is facing. So, anyway, we'll see how it goes. I brought my sleeping bag out, but I don't think I'll be bothered about using it. Anyway, I'm gonna chill out, have a cup of tea, maybe. It's cup of coffee and a cigarette and uh, climbing me uh, me doofer <laughs> and see I was coping alright join you in a bit well actually guys uh, considering I've just brought a, a little uh, Poncho out. Um, and put it up uh, with me hammock. As you can see, I don't know if you can see me feet there. Yeah. There you go. Hold on, I'll turn the proper light on here. Got the stealth light on. Got the proper light on. Yeah, there's my feet there. There's the end of uh, the top. Going down here, not far, and I can certainly feel the, the old uh, wind coming in underneath it. That's right next to a tree there. So it's not the uh, most comfortable of uh, shelters, but nothing you can hear that the wind's going to get up. 
I've actually leaned it on the uh, on the side that the wind's coming off. And I've only got a, a small bit there at the front, just in case it rains. Just keep the rain off me. But as you can see, this is right next to me. So it's not the, the best of shelters, but it is with the uh, the old um, <laughs> the old poncho there. So it's definitely keeping the wind sort of thing off me. Although I would not recommend it for um, a serious shelter at all. However, uh, the last time I took the shelter out, I was uh, actually in the rain. So it's just a bit, uh, like you see, it's breezy as hell tonight. And if it does rain, I'm only in within a uh, quarter of a mile or something to uh, get back home. So I'm just chilling out in my hammock with uh, no underlining. So yeah, I'm feeling my ass is cold. I'll have a quick look around the wood there, if you can see. Oh, don't know if you can. Maybe not. Nope. But it's actually spitting on we're in. So we'll see how it goes. If it uh, decides to spit down, I'm gonna. I've got a length of rope I can pull out in that middle uh, middle socket there, middle uh, hole, and. Uh, Whack it in the ground somewhere just to give me a bit more space, a bit more coverage. But uh, yeah, I don't know if you can hear it. Here we go. It's raining. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna tuck myself up. Right, we're gonna see how this does. Okay, guys. If I get uh, rained out, I'll let you know. So, see you in a bit. It off and out. Okay, guys, uh, we've just had a, a light sprinkling kind of shower. It's still raining a little bit. I don't know if you can see this in the camera, maybe not. It's uh, no, this is definitely not an adequate shelter for anything. Okay, and just the way I've got it, I'll just move around here. You can the uh, crudeness of it. Right, now you can see kind of what's going on. I've got that tight to the tree there. Going up and going down. This side. The ridge line going around the stake. Somewhere down there. Yeah. Okay, so this is actually the side that's uh, getting the most wind. But uh, it's nowhere near adequate, and uh, this is a Milcom um, poncho, okay, army poncho. As you can see, I've tied the top there to the tree, just to give me a bit more space. But I mean, it is keeping the rain off me. I don't know if you can see the rain on here, but it is keeping the rain off me. Uh, in here is uh, quite dry but if I go around the other side and let you have a look obviously this is the end right with uh, I know it's not easy to see in the dark here with the headlight oh, right there's there's the end I've just shown you there's the hood tied up to a bit of a branch there. We're coming down that ridge line. Ridge line going to the end there. And my hammock is there. As you can already see, it's soaking wet. I've had to bring my uh, haversack in, my uh, backpack, and my sleeping bag there. I brought that in. This shelter is uh, absolutely no good. None whatsoever. Uh, it's in too big a, um, a width for the trees 
and obviously the the top does not cover it so uh, hmm. I don't know whether to wear it out probably will you know I don't I'll get any sleep I never do what on these outdoor things but yeah it's just uh, starting to rain there uh, there's bits of rain on the on the top but uh, most of it as you can probably see underneath here there's, there's quite a bit of air gap coming in there it's all right at the top but uh, it certainly needs to be a lot bigger so the army poncho um, between what well, maybe it's about eight foot in between that foot, that tree and that tree, eight foot tree, is uh, no good. It's about three quarter length, and even if I pulled it out at the top end there, <coughs> I don't think it would give me an, any more protection down the bottom. To be honest, so <laughs> fuck it, <laughs> I'm gonna wear it out and see how it goes. Right, guys, just starting to rain again. He'll probably put a bit of another piece of cord in there, maybe just pull it out a bit more so it kind of runs down the bottom. If you can see that down there. But, uh, it's not going to give me any more protection really. So, looks like basically I'm, uh, I'm going to be a bit damp tonight. Anyway, yeah, it's coming down. So, right, I'll save the camera and uh, report back if there's any uh, <laughs> any difference in the weather it's absolutely pitch black out here but it's okay doesn't bother me <laughs> right catching a bit yeah anyway <coughs> how's it gone out again I don't believe it <laughs> fucking hell man this is just fucking ridiculous. Right, hang on guys. It's warm, but it's not hot. And there's still plenty of uh, warrant of shit. Mm. Right, you see where the bloody wind's coming from? Actually, I think I'm out of a mess. Bob this on the on the top there, mate. <laughs> the wind is uh, it's stupid. Mind you, I'm used to having a, a top that uh, goes all the way down the bottom. You know, and. Uh, Oh, this is nearly gone out. Yeah, that's it, it's done. Right, see how warm the water is. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, it's hot. Well, it's warm. It's going to be craft a cup of coffee, but we'll have a craft cup of coffee. Okay, guys, this is <laughs> trials and tribulations of living in outdoors. Okay, catch you in a bit. Hey up guys, it's uh, it's only five past two in the morning. I came out about quarter to twelve, midnight, quarter to midnight, something like that. This shelter is just not adequate enough um, for my needs. So uh, I think I'm going to wrap down and go home. The temperature actually is 6.6 .6 degrees if I can uh, show you. This should be interesting if I can get all of this and show you one hand. Mm, okay. Mm, maybe not. That's seven. It says 7 degrees in the top there. You're not going to be able to see it but it says 7 degrees. It's windy me uh, me top me um, 
poncho is nowhere near adequate enough um, for the uh, the weather or for anything really. Um, I would have to uh, be sleeping on the floor and this over the top of me in a kind of A-frame configuration uh, for it to be any good. In a hammock it's just too much cold air coming in underneath. Um, even though I've got a sleeping bag under under me bottom, under me ass, it's uh, uh, it's no good. It's no good. So I've decided while it's kind of light, because it is still, um, it must be very very cloudy. Obviously we we rain and things. Uh, I've decided to uh, just wrap down and call it a night. Go home, get nice and warm. Have a proper cup of tea and veg out in front of the telly for a couple of hours. <laughs> so, you can call this one Stealth Camp 9 Epic Fail. <laughs> and I've got no shame about it. At least I give it a go. But, uh, oh, it's too windy. It's, it's not very pleasant out here. I tried to buy me coffee. Uh, as you saw in the last uh, frame, the last take. Uh, and it took me about four or five times, the wind just kept blowing it out which for a little popcorn stove and uh, mess um, is very hard to blow out to be honest so uh, yeah anyway that kept going so my water was quite lukewarm so I had a lukewarm coffee but uh, I've decided it's not worth doing it's, it's bloody freezing, I've got another five hours to spend out here and since I only live about half a mile away I might as well just sort off back home <laughs> call it an epic fail I don't care hey at least I'm out man this is not the cigarette by the way this is me breath so yeah it is pretty numb but uh, yeah the wind's gonna get worse during the night um, it's gonna be up to 20-25 mile an hour 30 mile an hour tomorrow and uh, we are in indeed uh, due of some rain so I don't really want to be out with this with the tiny little uh, you know tarp kind of half covering me so I'd rather go on so there you go guys stealth camp 9 epic fail who gives a shit at least I went out and did it okay I'll go on catch you in stealth camp 10 and it's going to be a much better one Thanks for watching guys, always subscribe if you can, thank you very much, uh, everyone that has subscribed to my channel, and uh, from all the guys uh, who do bushcraft and uh, stealth camping and all the rest of it, radio gear, thanks guys, uh, it's us that keep YouTube going, because if we didn't make videos nobody would watch it, so there we go, anyway, have a good one. I'll catch you at Stealth Camp 10. <laughs> so from me, Fez, signing off. Catch you all later, guys. Have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye now.